Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Samuel from Samuel Dragon's Mods Animation More, and today I am here to give you a tutorial on how to use the AMG creation tool. Um, this will show you how to build AMGs with not only just model data, um, but also allow you to insert rig data, meaning you can use this for model merging and all sorts of stuff. This also comes with um, an AMO builder as well, so if you ever want to use this in the AMO LGBT tool, or the, as it's now called, model merger tool, uh, you can use it in that without having to mess around. And this will allow you to make um, rig bones, model bones, mix type bones, and empty bones for those who need it. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. There is one tool you will need besides AMG creation tool. This will be the model rig extractor tool. And what this tool does is it extracts a model part and any associated rig data with it. So if I insert Goku end of Z, I want a skirt. It takes a skirt as well as um, take its waist data, the stomach, and the two leg rotations uh, left and right, and use that in the AMG creation tool as I'm about to show you. I will be demonstrating this with Goku's skirt and Future Trunks' sword, demonstrating how you can build AMGs, insert different types of data, and then insert it onto another character. So what we need first is our models. Here I've got Goku the end of Z and Future Trunks. Back it doesn't really matter. He's all got sword anyway. I need to use the model rig extractor. I need to find Goku's skirt. Versus texture ten. Insert it in. Go to the body bone because that's where it's all located. Tester of 10, select ID 7, enter, and in the data folder, you'll see all the different bones associated with that model part. You can see waist, right leg rotation, stomach, and left leg rotation. What I like to do is extract them and put them in a folder. I'm just going to name this folder 1. Loads. Insert it there. I now want to do the same for Future Trunks' sword. Find his sword model part textures. We've got 23 and 24. Insert it. A model. Enter. You can see his two bones, sword case and sword, they're model bones and they're separate from the body bones, so it helps us identify it a little bit easier. So with select the sword case, says select ID is 4. There's three model parts with this, so we're going to extract this one at a time. Call this two sword case. Because I'll explain later. Got sword case bone there, first one. Select ID was four. Next one. Enter, sword case, need them both in. And one more time. Three. Oh, wait, I didn't need to fix that, oops. Again then. <laughs> You'd have three model parts for the sword case here. One more time, or repeat this process one more time uh, for the sword bone. So here we say sword, trunk sword, location, blah blah blah. Select IDs 5 and three model parts. A bit tedious, but it does work out in the end. Create a folder. Computer does this thing, there we go. 
Was it? Damn sword. Right, so once you have your model parts extracted, in my case I've got the skirt for Goku's skirt, um, the sword case both, uh, model parts and the sword model parts, you're now want to use AMG Creation. So I've got it up here. Um, just to note, a link to all these tools can be found within the Budokai modding server, where I release all my tools. Um, and it does include the source file, so if you think something could be done better, or if you want to try something out yourself, or you can just browse through the code for shits and giggles, you're happy to do so. If you do use my code, please get credit. Um, but besides that, you can find all this in the Budokai modding server, the link will be down below. Um, the AMG creation tool, it's just one tool, nice and simple. You open it up, it'll, it'll say new AMG creation tool, how many bones on the AMG? You need to think about this because it does matter how many you have. It says including body as well, I'll explain that. So, Generally, on all AMGs, there's always a body bone. A body bone contains all the model parts that have active rig data. So if I put in Goku's skirt, that bone should sit on the body bone, and any rig data will be placed on the bones after. Um, for example, the sword case bone would not be placed on it, only because it doesn't have any rig data. It's just a single mod or separate model parts uh, within its own axis that doesn't need to be uh, influenced by rigged. So we need to count how many bones we need. So body is the first one. We'll need one for waist, one for right leg rotation, stomach, left leg rotation, and two separate bones, sword case and sword. Seven bones. So insert seven. And how many model parts are on the body bone, not on the sword case or the sword bones? Uh, this is for the body bone. Because I've only got one bone that, sorry, because I've only got one mod part that's going to be influenced by rig data, it is just going to be one mod that'll be the skirt. It will then say insert the model part plus rig folder. This is the data you used, uh, sorry, that you extracted from model rig extractor. This folder you insert into here. So drag and drop, hit enter. Now, it's now going to go through all the different bones and say, you know, what you're wanting. Is it a rig bone? Is it a um, mixed bone? What is it? It's kind of difficult at the moment. You do need to keep track manually. I will have this fixed later on, but for now, I normally like to have a notepad up and ready for what the bone order is. So, for example, my bone order would be body, oops, body, waist, stomach, right leg rotation, left leg rotation, sword case. And sword. We've already inserted the model parts into the body bone. The body bone will be unique in the tools case because it's the first bone you work with. Anything else, it goes through this process of is it a rig, is it a model, is it whatever. So we've done the body bone, don't need to think about that. Now asking if the next bone, which I'm wanting it to be the waist, is it a rig type, is it a model type, is it mix or whatever. In this case, the tunic, skirt, whatever, is a rig type. So Rig, model, mix, empty. I've got it here set to 1, 2, 3, and 4. Rig is going to be 1, so hit 1. Now it asks for how many chunks. And what that means is when I use my model rig tool to extract data, it's separated by um, the weight of each rig associated onto that model part. Um, basically, to sum that up, you need to go into the folder that you inserted, and it'll have an edited sign on it, um, sorry, a new folder with the same file name as what you had, but it has edited onto it. Go into that, and you'll see all your different rig. Um, let's say waist, rotation, stomach, and all that. Um, for multiple folders, however, you will need to look at, um, you'll need to search for it. So what I normally do, is I search for it here. So if I type in waist, Go into view details. 
it'll tell me the mode that I'm looking for, in this case waste, and where it's coming from. And if you're working with a model, sorry, if you're building a model, it's got several model parts, and some of them will have um, waste rig data, and you're building a, um, a rig bone with lots of different wastes, this is how you check, and you don't insert data that's missing or that is um, unedited. Um, so here it says edited, and it says drag and drop. Oh wait, no, sorry, not yet. It says how many rig chunks are there. Search for waste, and within the edited sections of my folders, there's only one. So insert how many rig chunks. Enter the rig chunk. Hit enter, and then it goes into the next bone. The next bone I want it to be a stomach. So stomach's rig data. Rig. Search for stomach. And it says here, stomach, folder, edited, look for any of your edited folders, and it's only one of them. So one chunk, insert it, hit enter, next bone is right leg rotation, and it's a rig bone. How many chunks are there? Again, this is quite useful for any model parts, sorry, any bones that have multiple model parts with rig data on it, um, but in this case the skirt only has one. So here we see right leg rotation, there is five different chunks of rig data that are influencing model parts on the body bone, so it's five of them. How many rig chunks are there? So it's five, and I insert them. Simply drag and drop. The next one, I've got the set to left leg rotation. And once more, is five of them. So, rig type, there's five of them. Enter. Now, that's me, went through all the different bones. Body was obviously the first one, then it's waist, then stomach, then your rotations. Now it's the sword case bone. The sword case is only model parts. So when it says, is it rig, a model, a mix, or an empty type, I want it to be model. So I'll type in two. How many model parts are in the bone? There's three. And just same as usual, you drag and drop it in. And then one more time for the sword bone. This is, is it a rig, model, mix? Model, so you hit two. How many model parts? There's three. You insert them. And now, once you've done all the bones, it will ask for a bone name. And what this is, is it will give, sorry, it will ask for an ID. And what this is would be, as the tool explains, it would be GOK for Goku, VGT for Vita, DVR for Dibu, and so on. And it's just the three initials used for a character to say who's who. Um, Dragon Ball Universe does this, so does Dragon Ball Heroes, and quite a few games do it, but Budokai does it too. Just whatever you want. It doesn't really matter at the end of the day, but if you're wanting to build build characters, it kind of does. But now I'm just going to use MDL, just model. I'm not really wanting it to be played in game. Just hit model. And then it will start asking for the names of the bones. And this starts off at body. So it doesn't already add in body, you need to type body in. So body, waist, stomach, I think it said right leg rotation, yep. Right leg rotation, left leg rotation, sword case, and sword. And that's it. Close the tool. And you'll see within your AMG creation tool, there is an AMG file and an AMG. If, um, the AMG is just the AMG itself, so if you want to have this as just model parts only, just so you can throw into a character, do that. Or if you add in rig data for using on the model merging tool, works too, I will demonstrate this. The AMG is just the AMG, only one list of names, has all the data. Yep, all the model parts, all the rig data too, you'll be edited accordingly. 
different axes. The axes I've just left in as three lines of FF, um, only because again it doesn't really matter, I've not given it any proper bone functionality as of yet. Um, but it does have all the appropriate data for the model merging tool for you know look, that's the body bone, that's the waist bone and so on. The AMO is the same thing as the AMG except for the fact it's got an AMO header at the start. Connecting to which bone is connected to the axis, how is the order and everything, length of the AMO and so on. I'll have two name lists. Yeah. So that's as simple as that. Now I'll probably will cut to the model in game now, but at this point you will simply take your new AMG and AMO or whatever one you, you want to use and then use the appropriate tools to build it. In my case I'll want to use a model merger. I've already edited Gohan's file. Gohan, insert the add-on, enter, waste, Waste, merge them just nicely. Stomach, stomach, merge them too. Right leg rotation, rotation, left leg rotation. Same again. And uh, yep. Um, just as a note for anyone who's not too familiar with this tool, uh, you can't really merge or replace model type bones. Uh, something in the code is a bit wonky that way, but I will get to it eventually. Uh, but here I can just stop because I can manually add them. Uh, manually add them anyways. Continue, don't remove anything, insert the model parts, and there's only one model part on the body bone, so add it that way. So, don't insert any more. I will have my new file here. And obviously I can change the text or change anything else I do. Um, again, I will probably cut to about here um, for showing off the model. That is everything I need to show off. I hope you guys have enjoyed for I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it's helped. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Otherwise, you can leave them in the Budokai modding server under the modding help channel. And I'll do my best to help out as much as I can, or if anyone else jumps in, they may as well. And if you have any suggestions for what I could do for this tool to make it better, to make it easier, I'll do my best to take it in and improve upon the tool. But this is so far the best way to come close to making custom models. And the only thing that you need to be wary of is mistakes and human error. I've had this happen to me before. As I'm adding in the rig data, I sometimes hit enter twice or say I add in the wrong data. Um, unfortunately, at that point, you will just need to exit out the tool and restart again. It's annoying, I know, and I apologize, but there's only so much I can do to help prevent that. At that point, it's human error. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next tutorial. See ya!